Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Kelvin's Kitchen. Today we're making baked mac and cheese. In a skillet over medium heat, add in two tablespoons of butter. Once the butter has melted, add in one cup of panko breadcrumbs. Go ahead and toast the breadcrumbs until golden brown. Once the breadcrumbs have been toasted, go ahead and set that aside. Now set a large pot of water over high heat. To the water, add in one teaspoon of salt. To the boiling water, add in one pan of elbows pasta. Cook the pasta as per package direction about seven minutes until al dente. Now, while the pasta is cooking in a skillet over low heat, Add in half a cup of unsalted butter. And while the butter is melting, go ahead and drain your al dente pasta and set it aside. Once the butter has melted, add in half a cup of all-purpose flour. Now whisk up the flour and continue whisking for about two to three minutes until the flour cooks off. Then add in three cups of whole milk, followed by one cup of heavy cream. Continue whisking until it thickens about three to four minutes. And while we wait for the sauce to to thicken, let's go ahead and season it. To season the sauce, add in half a teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. And please use freshly ground nutmeg as it will make a big difference. And nutmeg pairs really well with mac and cheese, even if you didn't even know. A quarter of a teaspoon of paprika, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, about three quarters of a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Now that the white sauce has been seasoned, continue whisking for a few more minutes until it thickens. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 190 degrees Celsius. Once the sauce has thickened, remove from the heat. To the sauce, add in 10 ounces of freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese, followed by 10 ounces of freshly grated Gruyere cheese. Then go ahead and mix until it turns into a cheese sauce. Now pour the cheese sauce over the cooked pasta. Go ahead and mix until every little elbow is covered in the cheese sauce. Once the pasta has been evenly incorporated with the cheese sauce, transfer it to a 9x13 baking dish. With a spoon, go ahead and spread it out and make it as even as you can. Top it off with shredded sharp cheddar and the toasted breadcrumbs. And to finish it off, add in one third of a cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Now bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, that is 190 degrees Celsius, for about 35 minutes. And if everything goes according to plan, your baked mac and cheese would look like this. Yo, check this out, I think now you are ready to eat. There you guys have it, baked mac and cheese. Enjoy, buen provecho, and thanks for watching. Bye.